how to draw an angle using protractor and how to measure an angle using protractor in this protractor measurements are given in degree scale so using this protractor we can measure angles in units degree the angle having 90 degree measurement is called right angle and similarly an angle how measurement less than 90 degree is called acute angle acute angle is the angle less than or smaller than right angle and an angle having measurement greater than 90 degree is called obtuse angle so obtuse angle is the angle bigger than 90 degree angle or right angle so obtuse angle is bigger than right angle and acute angle is smaller than right angle in a protractor we can see two set of scales one is inner scale and other is outer scale we can see that these two scales are in mutually opposite directions here the outer scale starting zero from here and arriving 90 degree here and ending 180 degree here and the inner scale is just opposite to that here the zero is starting below this 180 of outer scale and going in reverse order arriving 90 degree here and ending at 180 degree here just below the zero of outer scale so this two scales in a protractor helps us to measure an angle or to draw an angle from right hand side or left hand side now let us draw an angle here i am going to draw an angle having measurement 50 degree drawing this angle having measurement 50 degree first i am drawing a straight line so this straight line become the baseline or zero line there is no relation between the measurement of sides of an angle and measurement of an angle so let us recollect how we are drawing a line with a particular measurement here i am drawing a line having measurement 7 cm so it's at exact 7 i stop now notice that i am start the measurement from zero so whatever be the measurement the measurement we are starting or measuring from zero onwards this is important thing to notice while we are drawing an angle also here suppose i want to draw the angle on here the right side of this line i have to take the protractor and keep the protractor right side here so just see where i have placed this protractor here the baseline and the line were coming from 90 degree meeting at this baseline at that intersecting point i kept the protractor with the baseline okay fine now i already told the measurement has to be start from zero so I am checking where is the zero here you can see here the zero is in the outer scale so I am start measuring from this zero that means I am going through this outer scale and arriving at my required measurement that is 50 degree because I want 
an angle having 50 degree so I'm arriving at the measurement 50 degree and I'm giving a mark at that 50 degree point then I am taking my ruler and I am joining the end of the line the vertex of the angle and the marked point and joining them using a line here I am placing my scale like this exactly over to that point then I am taking the pencil and joining these two points and joining them okay now you can see here I have made that angle here I have done this is the angle having measurement 50 degree here I am marking the measurement of the angle like this okay similarly if I am drawing an angle on the left hand side of this baseline I have to place the protractor here if I want to draw an acute angle acute angle means the angle having measurement less than 90 degree so this is 90 degree 90 degree angle will be look like this so less than 90 degree will fall here from this side so here the zero is in the inner scale so I will go through the zero for all the acute angle will fall here so all the obtuse angle from this side I have to go through this side because this is the only thing we have to mention we have to start measuring from zero now we can draw an obtuse angle and finish this video now let us draw an angle having measurement 130 degree so this is a measurement greater than 90 degree so this angle will be an obtuse angle it will be bigger than right angle so first I am drawing the baseline here so I am drawing the baseline next and taking my protractor and placing here sorry here is no place so I am placing the protractor here here I am drawing the 130 degree so you can see here my baseline 0 is in this side because the line over 0 is here so I am going through this scale the inner scale so I am arriving this is 90 degree and 130 degrees greater than 90 degree so this will be the point I have to choose the same point here is 50 if it is starting from here the baseline if the baseline is here I have to choose this as 50 degree since when the baseline is here the same point I have to choose as 130 degree I am marking a point 130 degree here this is a measurement at 130 degree and I am taking a ruler and joining the point joining the point where we are meeting the vertex of the angle and the point where we have marked 130 degree so this is the point I am joining so this is an angle having measurement 130 degree so similar to this I am marking the measurement of the angle here so this is the angle having 130 degree I hope this video is useful for you thank you for watching this video have a nice day